Today at North of the Narrows Fire District, we'll be doing a review of the fire boat and some of the basic procedures we use on a daily basis. Today, let's cover uh, what uh, the North of the Narrows video on uh, the fire boat. As you can see, it's right here. The keys are kept up in the uh, firehouse. You have to retrieve the keys, come down here, and then uh, we're going to cover the various aspects of the boat. In these back compartments, in this large compartment, we've got the uh, floater, floaty pump. And that's an a item that you probably would not use very often with the uh, fire boat unless you needed some supplemental thing to, uh, to help you get water from the, uh, from the lake to the shore. On the boat, we've got various uh, sizes of hoses. Inside the cabin, we have the two and a half and then some one and a half, and then the various compartments around the, the boat uh, have one and a half and one inch uh, hoses. In the upper, in the front, on the left, on the port side, you've got the uh, compartment there that has the fittings, the, the uh, uh, splitters, uh, other things that uh, are, are essential to getting water to the, to the beach. This is the rescue litter for taking somebody out of the water. Using this and the winch up here, you can attach the, the winch to the litter and bring it up and bring the person on board the boat. Okay, we've got two groups of keys. One is to the, open the cabin and have the uh, key for the uh, pump. The other are the two keys for the two engines in, on the boat. Open the door to the cabin and come inside. Inside, we have to turn the battery on down here. Just turn it twice and I think there it goes. You can hear the beep when the battery turns on. These controls are for the siren and the lights down to the left. When you turn the batteries on, the radio comes on. This is the speaker for the radio. Take the keys to the ignition for the two engines and they're different keys so you have to check and see which is which. Start the engines, you can hear them start. Now your engines are running, you're ready to go. The various gauges are here. Your RPMs, speedometer, fuel gauge, about three quarters full right now. And then the, uh, I can't even see, let's see, the trim. And you want just a slight trim so that the engines jump slightly to get a little bit more oomph going through the water. Over here is the RPMs on the other engine trim, and then the fuel gauge right there, both two fuel gauges. The other things uh, here are your outside lights and, and other things that are pretty self-evident. Uh, How about the uh, the uh, sirens, horns, lights? Sirens, sort of horns, thing? and lights are all this It's all on the blue down box here. down yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. And uh, operation of the radio. It's always standard, on. Standard. It's always on. It's always on the NNFD uh, so that you can talk to uh, whoever's on the other side. All right, great. So starting and running the fireboat engine. First thing we want to do is make sure that the cannon is open so when we get water we'll know it. So it says open and close. We'll just go somewhere where we know it's not all the way closed. Take the fireboat key, a little funny looking one. Put it in the ignition. The choke is right here. 
the throttle is right here. So we put the throttle about halfway. We'll pull the choke out until it fires. Shut the choke off. Give it just a little bit of gas. Right here, we want to keep it up to about a hundred pounds. 